Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Tyler Ruggie, and for today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys five really cool facts about reptiles. And I bet you guys won't know some of these and they should be really surprising to you. I think these facts are really cool and I think you guys will enjoy them a lot as well. And this video is actually a collaboration with Emzotic. She is also going to tell you guys five really cool facts about some animals. So make sure to go check out her channel and watch her video. I'll put a link in the description below. Emzotic has a whole bunch of really cool animals that she shows on her channel and she's also very informational and fun to watch and she's really funny and nice and you guys should go check her out. She's so cool. Again, the link to her channel will be in the description below. Make sure to go subscribe to her. And without further ado, here are five really cool facts about some of my reptiles. All right, so our first two facts actually revolve around the ball python. This is Monty. He's my ball python. He's a male. And the scientific name for a ball python is Python regius. Regius? I don't know if I'm saying that right. And that literally just means royal python. And the reason why they're known as a royal python is because Cleopatra was believed to have worn a ball python on her wrist as a bracelet. And for those of you guys who haven't heard the term royal python, that's usually a very common term used in Europe. But in America and a lot of other parts of the world, they call them ball pythons just because they like to curl up in a ball. And the second really cool fact about ball pythons is that in some parts of the world, they are actually seen as a holy symbol of the earth. And I thought that was really interesting because here we just keep them as pets, but in other parts, they're known as a holy symbol of the earth. And actually the LGBO people in southeastern Nigeria give ball pythons a coffin burial and a ritual if they happen to be killed by mistake. So I thought that was really interesting. Next, I have Castor. This is my blue tongue skank. Really cool fact about blue tongue skanks, and this actually applies to some other reptiles as well, like bearded dragons and iguanas. They actually have a third eye. It isn't very easy to see, but if you look closely at the top of their head, there's a little spot and it's actually known as their third eye. The third eye is also known as the pineal eye, and although it's called an eye, it doesn't actually produce images. It only has a rudimentary retina and lens, so it can detect changes in light and darkness, but it doesn't actually pick up images. That's why if you hover your hand over a blue tongue skink or a bearded dragon, a lot of the times they'll flinch because they can tell that something is above them. And that's why when you go to pick one of these guys up, you want to kind of scoop them up from the bottom and not go over their head because it'll freak them out. And the purpose of the third eye is to help them with thermoregulation and hormone production. And I suppose it also helps them see if there's a predator coming from above. All right, I'm going to let you go now, Caster. Don't worry. He does not want to be held right now. He wants to go to bed. All right, so the next fact is about the African bullfrog, also known as the pixie frog. I have one of these, but I don't want to take him out right now because he's buried in his substrate and I don't want to bother him. I actually just filmed a whole video with him and I'll link that down below if you guys want to watch it. So I just really don't want to harass him again and take him out. Here's a picture of him in case you're wondering what he looks like. His name is Ceiling. He's a good boy. A really cool fact that I found about this African bullfrog is, if you couldn't tell, they come from Africa and they usually like a really humid climate. However, in Africa, they have a dry season. And in this season, the frog will bury himself deep into the ground and create a shell around his body or a cocoon. And this is actually a layer of their skin that dries out on the outside and it traps in moisture so the frog can stay moist on the inside. It stays there for most of the year. So it doesn't dry out because of the cocoon forms around its body. And then when the dry season's over and it rains, the water goes down into the ground and it dissolves the cocoon that the frog created to preserve its moisture. And then the frog can emerge to the surface to eat and reproduce. And I thought that was really cool that frogs create a, its own little shell to trap in moisture. I, like when you look at a frog, you don't think that it can do cool things like that, but it can literally create its own cocoon around itself. And I just thought that was really cool. So yeah, bullfrogs are really cool, even though they look so dumb, like you're cool. And last but not least, we have the bearded dragon. And this happens to be the most interesting fact that I found. And 
I found it to be really surprising, and that is bearded dragons have actually been found to be venomous. Researchers at Australia's Melbourne University found this out in 2005. Bearded dragons actually produce a mild venom. However, their venom is completely harmless to humans as well as pretty much any other animal. So it's believed that this is a trait that was used by the lizard's ancestors way back when, but it's just kind of a recessive trait now. They produce a very mild venom, but it doesn't actually do anything. So fun fact, bearded dragons are actually venomous and a little side note that I wanted to include, a little extra fact, is the difference between something that's venomous and something that's poisonous. Some of you guys are gonna know this and think it's obvious, but I know a lot of people don't know the difference between something that's poisonous and something that's venomous. Something that's venomous is something that's going to bite you and inject venom into you and it affects you that way. And something that's poisonous is something that you consume and it kills you that way. So a good way to tell a difference is if you bite something and it kills you, it's poisonous. But if something bites you and it kills you, then it's venomous. And on that note, I'm going to end the video here. Don't forget to go check out Mzotic's channel. I'll put the link in the description below because she is gonna share another five really awesome facts with you guys. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel because I post videos every week. Also, don't forget to check out my social media. The links to those will be in the description below. And I'll see you guys in my next video. And say goodbye to Malachi the Bearded Dragon who is being kind of sassy right now. Malachi, do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Tell them to subscribe to me, Malachi. Can you tell them to subscribe? Thank you. Thanks, Malachi. All right, bye.